we will discussing on what is multi head attention layer that is getting used in the paper attention is all you need alongside the mathematics behind it so let's get started if you are not able to recall where it is used so you can go back to the architecture used in the paper where we can see that in the encoder part we have a multi head attention layer as well as uh, in the decoder part as well so first of all let's understand what is attention and what is the requirement of attention and how uh, how it is performed mathematically so attention is basically a mechanism where we are trying to assign more importance to some tokens how we are doing that we are tweaking the token embeddings that are getting input in this particular layer and eventually uh, the embeddings are tweaked in such a way that important tokens in the uh, in the entire sentence are uh, automat are automatically given more importance uh, they become important uh, the embedding gets changed a bit so that they are given more importance while learning by the model but a question comes in that ki, uh, can't we use lstm or rnn so if you remember if you have studied a bit about uh, basic nlp models so um, memory models so we have lstm rnn coming in another sequence to sequence models so why can't they be used so uh, the, basically the problem with these models is that they don't have a big memory storage uh, they might not be able to remember most of the things but in case of attention uh, it is able to capture min much information it is able to store out um, man, um, humongous information with its with itself so it is able to capture the linguistic meaning of uh, from a particular language very easily as compared to lstm and rnns because their strength for uh, memory capacity is pretty low uh, now uh, what is multi head attention so in case of multi head attention what we are doing is that instead of just one attention layer we are placing of multiple attention layer parallel to each other parallel to each other so for example if the token embedding the embedding of a particular token is uh, say 20 what we are doing is that we are dividing this embedding into uh, multiple segments and then feeding each segment to different attention layers calling it a multi head attention so it can be the case that if you have an embedding of 20 uh, 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 you might have uh, a multi head attention of four so that you can have four multi attention layers standing parallel where you can divide this 20 uh, into four equal sections that is five 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 each and feeding this embedding this broken embedding to each of this parallel uh, attention why we are doing why we are using a uh, multi attention uh, in place of single attention uh, single attention layer why we are using multi head attention the reason behind that is because uh, in a particular sentence for example he sat on the chair and broke it we a person can derive multiple meanings uh, it can be the case that the it being used in the sentence uh, uh, here uh, is referring to the chair some might say ki it may refer to he also like uh, in because computer again model doesn't have a uh, brain with itself so it doesn't know the grammars and all that stuff so it can be the case that it might as start associating it to he or some other attention they might as start associating it to the chair so uh, the basic idea of parallel heads uh, coming in the multi heads coming in is that uh, we can have different perspectives coming from different uh, different uh, attention heads and eventually we can average this, uh, this these all these meanings together to get to the final meaning so that it can be the case that if out of uh, four attention heads it might be the case that three attention heads are indicating that it, it is towards the chair while the fourth one being indicating it can be towards he also so in that case we will be averaging out multiple perspectives and we will be getting to a better solution that is why we are using multiple attention heads uh, so let's uh, jump into the mathematics behind how a multi-head attention layer works and how attention is provided to different tokens in a particular input that is given so if you remember uh, we have the embedding size of the input token size uh, the input embedding size that goes into the multi head attention layer is n cross 512 uh, in the research paper that has been published attention is all you need where n is the total tokens in the sentence so for example if we have a sentence i am boy and if you are, if uh, so the input size for this particular sentence would be 4 into 512 because the embedding for each token is 512 and we have four tokens coming in now in case of multi head attention in the research paper uh, there are eight heads for attention that has been used hence this particular embedding of n cross 512 is divided into eight parts that is n cross 64 so we are not dividing this uh, matrix uh, horizontally like uh, uh, some tokens are going uh, in first head second some other tokens are going secondary it's more like we're dividing this matrix vertically so that uh, the embedding of so the embedding of each token gets divided 
and the segments are getting faded to multiple attention hits. So uh, an embedding size of n cross 512 gets divided uh, into segments of n cross 64 and are faded to different attention layers. Now uh, moving on to how the attention layer works. Uh, once we have got the input of n cross 64 for each attention head. So uh, in attention layer, we have three major concepts that is query, key and value. These are the entities that we are uh, declaring query and query weights, key and key weights and value and value weights. Where query, uh, query, key and value have dimensions n cross 64. So these six entities are all n cross n matrices uh, where we have different dimensions coming in. For query key and value, the dimensions are n cross 64, similar to the segment uh, query segment that is getting in uh, the token embedding segment that goes inside uh, the attention head. Uh, we need to de uh, declare a few more things. Dimension of the model that is 512. Dimension of query and key vector is 64. Dimension of the value vector is 64. As I told you earlier, n cross 64. And is the total number of tokens coming in. Uh, and like as I uh, written a note also. Uh, these numbers are just used in the paper. You can change these dimensions and you can work accordingly as well. You can have a smaller dimensions also. So there's nothing specific in the numbers coming in. Now, uh, apart from query uh, key and value matrices, we, have, we also have query weights, key weights and value weights. So the dimension for these are uh, dimension of the model into dimension of uh, key, dimension of the model and dimension of key and dimension of the model into dimension of value. So uh, in this, in the research paper, the dimension of these weights is 512 into 64. Okay, got it. But eventually how attention is calculated by using this mathematical formula that is soft max of query into uh, key transpose upon under root of dimension of key DK, D underscore K that we have declared earlier into the value matrix. So we will be running a, a small form, a small example or a small to, uh, sentence and eventually see how attention is getting calculated. Assume that we have an input called as Raju is good. After passing it to the end, uh, tokenizer, we get uh, 1, 2, 3 as an input. Now, after passing it to uh, input uh, embedding and positional encoding layer also, we get some embedding uh, x, y, z. Okay, for this particular sentence, uh, Raju is good. Assuming that uh, the dimension of the model is 4. So uh, if you saw uh, in the research paper, it was 512, but to demonstrate with such a huge embedding is difficult. So what I have done is that I'm assuming the dimension of the model to be 4. Uh, and uh, hence the embedding per token would be 4. So it was 512 earlier. We are assuming it to be 4 for a demonstration purpose. So the output embedding layer output dimension would be 3 into 4. Pretty easy. Like uh, total number of n is a total number of tokens that is 3. Raju is good into the dimension of the model that is 4. So three cross, assume that this is the 3 cross 4 matrix that we get after the input embedding plus the positional encoding layer after passing through these two layers. Now, once we are passing it to the attention layer, uh, assume that we have just have one head. We don't have multiple heads else it would be confusing. So assume that we have one head. So the entire input embedding would go into just one attention head. Now again, uh, placing out some values, dimension of key and dimension of value to be three and not 64 in our example, again, because for demonstration purpose and the uh, dimension of query weights, key weights and value weights would be four into three. Uh, you can uh, go uh, back in the blog and check out key, what is the reason behind it. So this is the weights that we are getting query key and value matrices from left and right. So this is query. This is key and this is value matrix, right? Uh, these are query weights, key weights and value weights. Let's get started. So assume that after passing embedding layer, we have got uh, these three embeddings for the three tokens that we got. And now we are feeding it to the embedding uh, into the attention layer. The next step is to multiply the input embedding with the query weights, key weights and value weights respectively one by one. So the Positional embedding that we have got, assume it to be the positional encoding for our embedding for the tokens that we have the, that we got here into the query weights, into the key weights, and into the value weights. Now, this will lead to form of uh, this will lead to uh, formulate query key and value. So, uh, positional encoding into query weights gives us the query, positional encoding into key weights gives us the key, and positional embedding into value weights gives us the value matrix. So now we have got query key and value matrix. 
as you can see in the structure as well this is this input and eventually 1020111232240282 you can see from here also we are getting these values so each uh, like for example if you can see for query 1022222213 gets is getting spreaded in this way query 1 query 2 query 3 key 1 key 2 key 3 v1 v2 v3 now let's start uh, putting values in this monstrous formula so uh, we have got our query matrix we have got our key matrix also we can do a transpose for this dk is 3 if you remember we have already uh, placed that value as 3 we have assumed it to be 3 so under root of 3 we would be using we would be doing a softmax and then multiplying by the value matrix so i won't be going much into the formula i would be just overviewing the values that we will be getting uh, as d underscore k equals to 3 the root of d underscore k would be around 1.7 so i am assuming it 1 for now because for the ease of the for ease of explanation so uh, uh, calculating the numerator would give us this 244 4, 16, 12, 4, 12, 10, which is called as a score matrix also right now we will be applying a softmax uh, over this uh, resultant as under root dk is 1 so there is no need to calculate that softmax over this particular token that we have this particular matrix that we have calculated row wise so it would be the so softmax would be along 244 then 4 16 12 and 4 12 10 i am assuming that you understand what is a softmax uh, function if not you can google it out it's pretty easy uh, so eventually after applying the softmax matrix we are getting this particular matrix uh, so uh, multiplying by query into k transpose gives us this and applying softmax matrix over this matrix a uh, softmax function over this matrix gives us this particular matrix now let's understand what this output means this output means that the first token is important uh, to the token at this particular index so if our first token is raj uh, you can see the first row in the out in the out, after applying the softmax matrix a uh, softmax function we are getting this entry 0 0.01 the first row is 0 0.46 0 0.46 it implies that importance of raj for raj is 0 0.06 for is in the sentence is 0 0.46 and for good is 0 0.46 making sense so for each token pair that can be formed uh, we are getting the importance value key for this uh, this token is how important this token is to the other tokens in the sentence now the last part remaining in the attention formula is multiplying with the value matrix if you remember softmax uh, q k transpose upon dk root dk into value matrix so uh, how will we be doing that if you remember value matrix uh, was our dimension 3 is to 3 so we will be calculating three attention values for each token that we are getting uh, how are we doing that we would be calculating uh, these values that we have calculated 0 0.06 0 0.046 0 0.46 so each row each unit present in the row in this particular row would get multiplied by each row of the value so 0 0.06 as you can see in the example into 1 2 3 0 0.46 into 280 and 0 0.46 into 263 you need to remember the value matrix so for each if you uh, like the first row uh, represent how important the first token is to all the other tokens in the sentence so for each value in that particular row we need to multiply it by the first row of value matrix second row of value matrix and third row of value matrix so the first value get multiplied by the first row the second value get multiplied by second row the third value get multiplied with third row uh, i think you need to stop a bit and understand and you just need to go back and forth so you will get it ki, what is actually happening so as and when we are moving with one and uh, one each token pair importance is getting multiplied by a unique row in the value matrix and finally we will get these values for attention for input token one a1 a2 and a3 a1 a2 and a3 right now the last part being we need to add these three matrix uh, these three uh, vectors that we have generated after multiplying with the value matrix so after adding these three vectors we are getting 1.9 6.6 and 1.5 so these are rounded off so 2 7 1.5 is finally the attention uh, that we wish to calculate for 
the first token that we have got now similarly you can calculate the tension for the second token you can calculate the tension for the third token now in case of multi head uh, if we would have multiple heads what we would have done is that we would have concatenated these outputs so if the output uh, for if the output dimension is uh, if 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 for token Ra, if for token raj we get this vector as a a tension vector uh, after applying the tension layer we are getting this output so if we would have multiple attention heads as of now in the example that we have used as one so we will be concatenating all the results together to form our uh, to go back to our uh, former dimension so if you remember if we have 512 and we divide it into eight parts 64 64 64 64 uh, we would be getting an output of the dimension same 64 64 61 and one on concatenating will again back to 512 so whatever is the input dimension would be our output dimension as well in case of multi head dimension in case of multi head uh, attention layer so summarizing first of all we need to calculate uh, qkv using the query weights key weights and value weights and the input sequence embeddings so you remember we need to multiply input sequence embeddings with query weights key weights and value weights attention matrix is getting calculated of the dimension n cross dk now dk is some, the uh, dimension of the key matrix uh, if you remember now uh, if we are using multi head attention we need to concatenate all the attention uh, the matrix that we have generated